So here's the issue. These Hummers had a real small diameter vent hose, and there wasn't enough room inside the hose to allow the gear lube to burp itself back down into the axle. So it always leaked. And I was going on a beach trip in North Carolina, and I really didn't want my stuff leaking gear lube on the beach, so I made this quick, temporary expansion tank out of a plastic bottle, a barb fitting, and a breather. Well, that was 10 years ago, and it's starting to leak again, so it's time for a permanent solution. The reason I call this a low buck tank is because I only purchased one thing for it. This little brass filter, 250 from Amazon. I bought a three pack for seven bucks. The rest of it was scrap stuff I had around, and the fitting from the old tank that I made. I got this piece of inch and five eighths by eighth inch aluminum tubing from the scrap yard a few years ago. I think I paid five bucks for it, and I'm only using five inches. I love trips to the scrap yard. It looks like an old handrail, so I'm guessing it's 6063 alloy. I'm also using a piece of one and a half by four inch by eighth inch thick aluminum for the mounting bracket and a piece of quarter inch for the end caps. Cut to desired length. I made mine five inches. Deburr your cuts. And because this was old scrap stuff, I cleaned the inside real good and used emery cloth on the outside to make it look like new. I used an inch and three quarter hole saw to cut the two end caps out of the quarter inch aluminum. Sand or grind the rough edges if needed. Okay, I've got my end caps made, and I even put a little chamfer on the top side. That's definitely optional. Now it's just drill and tap for the brass air filter, which is going to take a quarter inch pipe tap, and the bottom hose fitting I'm using takes a 9 16th by 18 fine tap. Warning, read and follow all labels and your owner's manuals. For these welds, I'm using 332 4043 or 4943 filler because it's compatible with the two different alloys and it's also in a high temperature application. I've got my Multimatic 220 set at 200 amps, which I'm regulating with the foot control. My balance is at 73% and frequency at 90 hertz. For the mounting bracket, I drilled two 5 16 holes, a half inch from each end and 3 8 inch from the edge. I also increased the frequency to 100 hertz. For final assembly, I'm just Putting a couple holes into this plastic case. This actually holds some of the fuse panel over here, but this is pretty much all dead air on this side. And then I'm going to put a couple rev nuts in it. Ah, 
These are the 5 16 rev nuts I'm going to use. Solid. Now I just gotta put the vent hose back on. I like the way that looks. Should have did that 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 